For close to three months, they have been in pains after waiting for a long time. The victims of the Mbankolo incident will finally bury the loved ones who died as a result of a landslide. I'm happy because I will finally lay my son to rest in the village. No matter the situation we have passed through, I will give him a befitting burial. I thank God for everything because he saw my situation and he wants my son to rest in peace. During the walking session chaired by the Divisional Officer of Mfundi, the Administrative Authority fixed the modalities of what each family gets as support from the Head of State. The walking session met with some disagreement from the victims as some of the beneficiaries who were in together but were brought back as one because of the funeral had disagreement on who to receive the support from the government. The senior divisional officer of Mfundi tried to put to rest some of these issues. The support from the head of state is not to be used for something else. It's just to organize a befitting burial for the departed. I don't want to get any complaints again that someone dies and you want to share the money. Which money? What's all of this? You think if you're giving millions, it will bring back the child who died? The different families were told that after January 5, any family whose corpse is still at the mortuary will not be in the hands of the government with exceptions given to those whose distance are far off. Those who survived the Mbankolo incident have also been told to leave the party house where they have been for some time now. As a result of the Mbankolo incident, 28 persons died and three still missing till date.